I've done some insane experiments in my life. I mean, putting Pepto-Bismo on a steak. How about dry aging a steak in peanut butter? And just in case you did not like that, well, I also did it with something sweet. We're talking about Nutella. And it was all made because of my subscribers. And the best part is that I always learn something new. Regardless of what type of experiment you guys ask me to make, there's always something to be learned. And today is no different because this is the star of today's show. Beef Ramen. You suggested that I use the seasoning package that goes inside to season a steak. As I open up the package, you can see that everything is powder. Unlike steak seasoning which is granulated, this one is just dust, which should penetrate deeper and faster into the steak. Now, since I have more people trying it with me, we gotta have a few more steaks. So I will also be trying this one, which is probably the most popular, the chicken flavor. And even though they're not the best thing in the world, if you put your mind to it, you can actually make this real tasty. But the big question is, is this going to make the steaks any better? And if so, which one will be best? Well, let's see, because I'm using it on these two beautiful choice crate steaks. As you can see, they are not prime. And I'm doing that for good reason. If these ramen seasoning packages can elevate these steaks, just imagine what it can do to a high quality one. So for today's experiment, choice grade it is. Now here's how this experiment is gonna go down. The first thing I needed to do is to season it with a little bit of salt. Once the salt was done, I immediately went with the chicken seasoning. And I made sure to add the whole thing. I mean, this thing better taste real good. If not, I'm gonna be real and don't forget the beef one, which is actually the one that you guys recommended. And it totally makes sense. Beef with beef. What in the world is the chicken doing here? But hey, that's the fun thing about doing experiments. As the only thing left was to throw them in the bag, vacuum seal them, and they were ready for sous vide. Not until I prepped one more steak. This will be the control. I kept the seasoning like I always do with a little bit of salt, followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Then I threw them in the bag and vacuum sealed them. Now they are all ready. That is perfect because it allows me time to go ahead and make an incredible side dish. This one is not only easy to make, it's inexpensive and it tastes fantastic. And here's how to make it. First thing I gotta do is to cook up some bacon. If you don't like bacon, you can replace it with anything else. Even ground beef will work just fine. Now we don't want it too fatty, so after cooking it, I separated the bacon fat and I was left with some beautiful crispy bacon. Now it's time to make the filling. I first started with ricotta cheese, followed by the bacon we just cooked, some fresh parsley, parmesan cheese, mozzarella, oregano, garlic paste, one whole egg, a pinch of salt and freshly ground black pepper. Mix everything well and combine these ingredients together. And as always, remember exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below for you. Because now our filling is ready. I also made a white sauce called bechamel. And to make this is even easier and here's how. I started by melting some butter. Then I added two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Mixed everything well until I had no lumps left. How do I know when it's ready? As soon as it starts smelling like pie dough, it's time to throw in some milk. Using a whisk, I incorporated everything together. Keep it under high heat because everything is gonna start thickening up on you real quick. Now you gotta choose the consistency that you want your sauce to be. So I kept adding milk until I was 100% happy. And check it out, this is the consistency I was looking for. A little bit thick but not too thick. To finish it up, I seasoned it with salt followed by freshly ground black pepper. Mixed everything well and my sauce was done. That is how easy it is. The next thing is to boil some jumbo pasta shell. You just gotta follow the packaging instruction. Now here's how I put everything together. I first started with a little bit of bechamel sauce on the bottom. Using a spoon, I individually stuffed every single one of them. It doesn't have to be pretty because we're going to be serving this as family style. So just make sure you add a good amount to each one. Once done, throw the bechamel sauce right on top. I made sure to spread everything out nicely. Then I added a good amount of mozzarella right on top. Into the oven, it went at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Once the time was up, this is what I was left with. Now that is super easy to make as this is one of my top side dishes that I made this year. But hey, that's not what we're here. We're here to find out how the ramen seasoning is gonna taste with some steaks. And the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them sous vide. I'll be cooking all of them in the same container at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. And I cannot wait to find out how these are gonna taste. This is why I love you guys. The community is fantastic. This suggestion would have never have come out of my head. At the same time, I'm excited to find out if it's gonna taste better or worse. As you know, I did not use a very highly graded steak, but there's always only one way to find out if something is good or bad, and that is to give it a try. And if you have another suggestion that you would like us to try, put it in the comments down below. We're gonna make it happen. Because my steaks are ready, we are hungry, and it's time to take it out. Let's do it.
If the smell is any indication, if this is gonna be good or bad, I'm not very confident anymore. <laughs> but like I always say, don't knock something until you try it because the chicken one, everybody, does not smell very good. The beef broth, on the other hand, that's actually pleasant. And as you already know, every time you make a sous vide steak and you take it out of the bag, it doesn't look good. And for that, I'll be using my flamethrower to make sure that I get a perfect crust. You see, the flamethrower is convenient, quick, and my favorite part, there's no dishes to do at all. You can't be that come on but I know what you're thinking I know my steaks don't look that good right now but watch this All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful steak with an incredible side dish. I apologize, it's missing a little piece for very good reason. You know, somebody gotta try on camera. Taste test. Taste test, that's right. <laughs> Taste test. I do have a little experiment going on. I want your honest opinion, all right? Let us know if it's good, if it's better, if it's worse. Just tell the truth, that's all we care about. We're gonna go this direction today, all right? Let's go for it. Okay. Grab one. First thing I want you to do is I want you to take a sniff. It smells different at all now. Why are you making a funny face? I hope it's not trying to be a funny face. <laughs> it's, a, it's more of a concerned face because it does not smell like a steak. Doesn't smell like a steak at all. It I, smells a little it's, different. It's still, it smells it like smells steak. steak. It smells like steak. It smells like steak, guys. But it does have a different like smell. All right, let's find out. Tell me about the taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. I'm cool with that. That's pretty interesting. It's not bad. I thought it was gonna be bad. It doesn't really taste that beefy. Whatever is the seasoning, I think took away from the beef. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The seasoning took away from the beef. That's a good call, my friend. I would say it's an edible steak, but it didn't make anything better. No, definitely not. I, I don't, wouldn't say that's better yeah. at all. It's not the best. All right, let's go for the second one. Go, right. big in. Let me know. Smell this one and tell me if uh, you smell anything sorry, different. Today, Junior. I'm holding up the line. This one smells a lot better. <laughs> this one smells a lot better, let me tell you. Huh? It smells more beefy. It smells yeah. more beefy. Yeah. It smells that more like, <gasps> Oh man, now I'm excited. Look at that. <laughs> Enough talking, let's give this one a try. Cheers, everybody. Oh, oh man, it's good. <laughs> good but that's a lot better, I'll tell you that. This is a steak right here, my friends. <laughs> guys, guys, I've been around for a while. Maybe for as long as he's been my uncle. <laughs> and I'll tell you what this is. A Google steak. I want to throw a little curveball, everybody. The control has been the first one lately. Not today, so that is the control. Yeah. The one that we just tried is much better. The first one is definitely like it removes some flavor. The second one is like, oh, by the way, this is how it's supposed to be. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I agree. All right, very good. Let's go for the last wait, one because wait, I'm excited. Wait. Angel, no. What are you doing? <laughs> Angel. <laughs> He's already high. grabbing the smoke. <laughs> Bro, you were over here saying, This is really good. I had more than a little taste, you know? And then you're not going to let me no, try it. Fair enough. No, of course you're going to try it. All right, let me give it to you. Come on, man. This is some good stuff. stuffed pasta shells, all right? Kind of like a lasagna, but better. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Oh my god. 10 out of 10 will highly recommend everybody. <laughs> Guga, most, most of the time, you're the one giving us high fives. Mm. I gotta give you a high five. <laughs> this is a good, this is No, 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 I don't look. Hold, hold that, hold that hand. This is a rare occurrence. Mm. If you're a true fan of Google Foods and sous vide everything. Oh my god, I know what's coming. You know that this does not happen very often. I know what's coming, you don't but know. But Guga is about to get a hug. Come here, bro. Wow. That's, that's a good. That's a good side dish right there. I like that because that Can was- Can you get a pound? I, li I like that because that was like a man And a high five. Yeah, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys this is fantastic. I hope you guys give this one a try. But now, let's go for the last one. Grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Let me know your honest opinion and just, I really want to know if it's better than the control or not. Yeah? Cheers, everybody. Cheers. It smells like it would be, but I'm just gonna say it right now before you guys even say anything. Control is winning for me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to agree with Angel on this one because it's beefy, but there's something off about it. Like yeah. it doesn't taste right. It doesn't belong there. No, it does yeah. not. Like that's what I have to say. It does not belong there, everybody. Where does this belong? No, this was not my idea. This was their suggestion. And obviously, if you guys have a suggestion, I am definitely gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna show you guys what I put on it. You guys are gonna freak out. You ready? Oh man. It's not bad, it's not bad. So today's secret ingredient is 
ramen. So you I use the seasoning? seasoning pack. Yes, the seasoning package to go on with the steaks. I think that belongs on the ramen, not the, the, not the steak. The steak. Yes, like, I, I agree think, 100%. I think it should stay on the ramen because it tastes pretty damn good on the ramen. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.